welcome back to another video of Cooking with Kinney. My name is Hannah Lidley and I'm one of the graduate assistants at the Kinney Center. I figured that today I'd show you how to make grilled cheese, which is one of my favorite meals because it's a little bit rainy outside today and it makes me want to curl up with a good book, some grilled cheese, and a hot cup of tomato soup. And also, there's not a lot of restaurants open during this time, so you kind of have to find whatever's in your pantry and just whip it up. So I figured I'd dig through my pantry and my refrigerator and make you one of my favorite meals, which is grilled cheese. Let's show you how to make it. Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a grilled cheese. Before I show you all the steps, let's go over some safety tips. Some things to keep in mind when you're in the kitchen is to have a parent nearby, to always wash your hands properly before touching food, to tie up any long hair into a ponytail or bun, roll up your long sleeves, use pot holders when necessary, have parents help you when using knives and sharp objects, and keep the stove heat at a decent level. In order to make a grilled cheese, you will need two pieces of your favorite cheese, mine's American, two slices of bread, one tablespoon of butter, one teaspoon of olive oil, this is to keep the butter from not burning, and then some fruits or veggies of your choosing for a side. Here I'm tying up my hair into a ponytail just because my hair is just long enough that it could possibly fall into some food or just get in my face while I'm cooking. Here I'm washing my hands because it's always good to wash your hands before you eat food and also before you prepare food. So I'm washing my hands with some soap and warm water and I'm making sure that I get in my nails, around my fingers, both my palms and the outside of my hands and also down to my wrists and washing for at least 20 seconds. So for this, in order to keep track of 20 seconds, you can sing happy birthday to yourself two times. Once I'm done scrubbing my hands, I'm gonna rinse off all the soap and then I'm gonna grab a towel wipe off my hands and also turn off the water with that towel to not get any germs. Remember to roll up your long sleeves so they don't get caught on the stove. Grab your pan and turn on the stove to medium high heat. Next we're going to take half of our butter from the tablespoon and put it in the pan. Make sure you ask a parent for help with the butter knife first before scooping it into the pan. To keep the butter from burning, we're going to take about a teaspoon of oil and put it in the pan with our butter. After putting the oil in the pan, you're going to make sure to swirl it around so that it covers the entire bottom of the pan so that no bread or cheese will stick. Next, you're going to assemble your grilled cheese sandwich in the pan. It might be hot, so ask for a parent's help while doing this if you need it. You're going to put a piece of bread down first then two pieces of cheese, and then another slice of bread. Taking the other half of butter from the tablespoon, you're going to spread the butter on top of the top piece of bread. Also ask for a parent's help while doing this, since you might have to press down on the bread and it's hot in the pan. Then set a timer for about five minutes and let the one side of the bread sit. After your first timer goes off, it's time to flip. Get a spatula and flip the bread over to the other side. Then set another 5 minute timer to let the sandwich finish cooking. While the sandwich is cooking, you can start preparing your healthy snacks. For this I chose cucumbers and raspberries, but you could choose whatever you would like. Always make sure to ask for help when using a knife and always hold your fingers away from the blade. Always remember to wash your fruits and veggies too. Once our timer goes off, that means that our grilled cheese is ready to eat. Take it out of the pan with a spatula and place it on a plate. After you put your grilled cheese on a plate, take the pan off the burner and turn off the stove. Next, it's time to cut our grilled cheese. You don't have to cut your grilled cheese, but I like to cut mine in triangles. Or you can cut yours into rectangles. Or other shapes. It doesn't really matter. Whatever you would like. Then I put my cucumbers and a handful of raspberries on my plate and got ready to eat. Mm -hmm. 
Awesome job, everyone. You made a grilled cheese. I think this is one of the best grilled cheeses I've ever had. What about you? Stay safe, stay happy, stay healthy, and enjoy.